Okay, our project is going to be to basically tear out all of the old lava rock and remove the heat elator fireplace go with something uh, high efficiency like maybe one of the new um, high efficiency wood burning fireplaces or possibly wood stove so I'm just going to kind of document this as I go along okay here's about Eh, 20 or 30 minutes into it. This is why the heat elator will not just slide out is because this right here, that's part of it. The only way you can get this out is to remove all the rock work. It's basically built into the house. So it looks like there's no easy way to get it out. All this old lava rock work is going to have to come down okay it's coming out a little bit quicker now once you get that screen mesh coming out kinda like the lava rock and the grout or the mortar all comes along with it I finally got that to come off in one big huge chunk, which was kind of nice. And just out of curiosity, I opened up a little bit of uh, gypsum board right through here, and you can see that's actually part of the heat elator back in there. Thing's huge. I might have to take half the house off to get it off. Okay, I removed all of the lava rock and then I went ahead and removed all the drywall and you can see all the way back to the insulation back in there and then to the probably the exterior of the house is on the other side of the insulation but as you can see there's no way we ever would have got that thing out through its original little brass hole it is massively huge Okay, we are starting now to remove some of the framing and then we'll take it to the next level. So once again I'm amazed at how much uh, pieces parts there are in this heat elator. I mean it's just enormous. Yeah. Okay, at this point, I'm convinced that the foundation was poured, the heat elator was installed, and then the rest of the house was built around it. I do not know if this is the best way to do what I'm doing, but I'm using a crowbar to basically, as a lever, and I am prying this thing out uh, it's alcove. Uh, 
It's a monster. So I've already cut through uh, two layers of sheet metal <clears throat> and there's a third layer of sheet metal I'm getting ready to cut into to try to see if I can release this thing from its tomb. Okay, it's day three of the war. I obviously underestimated what the heat elator was bringing into this battle. So I've decided to bring in my two-ton floor jack to try to lend the reinforcements that we need. I don't know how much longer we can hold out. We're going to win this thing. Alright, I think this might just be the solution I've been looking for is the uh, floor jack. I can see up in here the... Uh, chimney starting to separate. Let's see if I can get some light up in here. I can see a separation starting. Okay, that uh, looks like the two-ton floor jack was just what the doctor ordered. That did the trick. I'm stunned at how heavy this thing is. It is a monster. Chimney pipe came out. It wasn't bolted in. or any, uh, Well, it had a couple of screws in it, but I already removed them. But that chimney pipe is very, very heavy. So, looks like... Looks like our floor jack offensive was successful. Stay tuned. Okay, we uh, have two by eights down here to slide it, which was a good idea. The two ton floor jack was a good idea. I used a two by four as a lever, put it under this massive uh, exhaust pipe or um, chimney pipe to lower it because it is very very heavy and I just lowered it down with the lever got it set on something solid and now I can keep wiggling it out from there